Hello, I'm just going to do a quick little vid about um, Windows um, Windows, and how to set up your Windows system. I'm not going to do a whole install thing. I'm just going to talk about applications that I feel that you should have on a new system when you're, um, when you're installing a Windows. Um, basically, what happens is this. Um, I don't tend to buy a lot of... Um, OEM systems anymore, uh, just because if I'm going to buy, a, if I'm going to get a Windows box, I'll build my Windows box. I'll buy the parts off of Tidy Direct, put it together, and it'll join the system that way. Um, if I am going to buy a laptop, I do tend to buy an OEM laptop. I I do enjoy a um, not Acer. Uh, HP is my favorite um, PC brand. Uh, let me know your favorite. But uh, basically, when you get that system home, um, if you're either building your own system or if you're getting an OEM system. Uh, OEM, OEM systems come with so much um, crap on them these days. It is just, uh, it's just insane. Um, some of the stuff they put on those systems is just not uh, needed at all. And it's a lot of trial software. So what I tend to do if I get a new OEM system, which I I did uh, with my Aspire One about a year ago, I took it home. Before I even booted the thing up, I threw a, I threw a good copy of uh, XP and, and uh, wiped the whole system before I even touched the system. Uh, I recommend doing that if you are. Uh, if you are tech, technical, sa technical savvy in a way and are able to know how, if you know how to wipe the system, wipe the system as soon as you get it. That's my recommendation. Um, of course, um, make sure you have the drivers and everything before you do that. But uh, other than that, just uh, make sure you get a clean wipe on that system. Then you want to set it up with applications. Now, I'm going to go through a few applications I think you should have on your system at all times. Um, that's just, This is for Windows. I'm sorry, Mac users. Um, I've been talking quite a bit about Mac, so I thought I'd go for PC for a bit. Um, I'm still using my Mac desktop just because... Uh, my Windows machine is um, installing right now. My Aspire One is installing right now, and this is a uh, ScreenFlow I find to be one of the best applications for doing YouTube videos. So, anyways, I'm just going to go into um, um, applications you need. Um, first application I'd go for is um, CCleaner. Great application here. Um, here it is. Um, uh, basically, what the system this will do is it'll clean your registry, it'll clean your system, it'll re remove um, old. Um, old uh, browser cache, everything. It'll just remove all the crap in your system that you do not need. It'll clean it out. I've uh, had an old system of running four years straight. Uh, I did ran CCleaner on it. Ten gigs right off that system. It's a great application. Um, I recommend you use it. Um, if you do use it, um, uh, run it once a day, you know, run it twice a week, run it, I'd run it as much as possible, just whenever you think about it, run that application, it'll keep your system nice and fast, um, another application I would recommend, um, for your browser at least, I'd use, uh, Google, oh, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold and I'm not going as fast as I should here, Google Chrome, Google Chrome, um, Google Chrome is a very, very fast web browser. Um, it's very simple, very easy to use. I recommend it for anyone who's either from um, a basic everyday user to uh, a, a power user. Uh, great application, nice and fast. Um, make sure, um, if you do are going to start using Google Chrome, you'll find there's some sites that Google Chrome will not accept. Um, there's not very many. You'll find like one in a million that won't accept. So do keep... Um, just uh, just keep Explorer as a backup for that. I don't use Explorer at all. I've moved completely to Google Chrome on all my Windows systems, and I find it a great solution. Uh, another one of the internet browsers I'm sure everyone knows is Firefox. As soon as my... As soon as my... Firefox. Oops. So, yeah, Firefox is another um, great application. Um, they're on Firefox 3.5. Ooh, I should download that, actually. I'll download it after. Um, anyways, it's a great application. Uh, it works on Mac. Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, widespread kind of thing. It's a great web browser. Um, I find it to be nice and fast. Uh, uh, in some cases, I find it to be a bit slower, but in most cases, it's pretty well fast. I do find Google Chrome is faster than Firefox. My opinion, if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comment section. But uh, Firefox, great application when you're starting up your system. Um, another program you will need, well, you don't need it, but I recommend it for you, is um, Memory Mechanic. Uh, memory Mechanic is a great application. Basically, what it does is it defrags your RAM. Um, I talked, I talked, talked to some power users or some uh, some some uh, techs out there, and uh, said um, when they were having issues with their computer being slow, and and I said, well, do you defrag your RAM? They said, no, I've never done that before. Um, it's it's not uh, as known as as it should be, but uh, defragging your RAM will increase your system quite a bit. Um, we'll give you a good speed boost. Basically, what you do is you download the application, run it. Um, very, very simple install and everything like that. It's nothing real technical about it. You install it, um, run it, and um, 
uh, just a, it just click the defrag button. It'll defrag your RAM. After it's done that, you can either start using your system then, which will be a bit slower. You don't want that. If you restart, you'll get the full speed boost of the defrag of your RAM. I do it. I do it every day. Um, I recommend at least doing it at least three or four times a week if you can. Um, just whenever you remember to run this program, run it. It is a great application. Um, for antivirus, if you need a free antivirus, I recommend AVG. One of the better antiviruses, at least one of the better free ones. Um, they do have paid versions of it. I don't. The paid versions are okay, but I don't like them as much. Like if I need a free antivirus, I'll use AVG. But if I'm going to get a paid, uh, if I'm going to do a paid antivirus, I'll choose a different antivirus. Um, but anyways, it's a great um, application, very very fast. If you need a free, app, if you need a free antivirus, perfect. Uh, doesn't slow down your system at all. I find um, so it's a great application. Uh, it's a lot better than Norton or anything like that. Um, I at least think so. All right, another. Uh, if I'm going to do a paid um, antivirus, I will use Bit Defender. Um, Bit Defender is. Uh, it does have a free version. The free version of it sucks. Um, <laughs> there's no, there's no really a way around that one. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Um, but yeah, the the um, it's not very very, it's not um, very expensive because you can see right over here. Um, they've got a version here. The internet security. Um, what you need for basic user. Um, only thirty nine ninety five for one year for three PCs. Like that's really not a big deal. Um, if you are running Windows, I do recommend you have some sort of antivirus. May it be Bitdefender, AVG, Nod thirty two, Clam, Win, antivirus. Like there's there's a million of them out there. But make sure to choose your antivirus wisely, um, and make sure the antivirus does everything you need it to. If you don't like your antivirus, there's no sense keeping on it. Um, just switch. Um, it's I've been trying a lot of antiviruses. Um, since I started using Windows, and I find that um, AVG is the best free one. I find Bitdefender to be the most, the best paid one. That's just my opinion. Um, if you have different antiviruses, please feel free to put them in the comment section to help people out. Because I remember it's a big, big pain to find an antivirus that you do enjoy and you feel it does everything you need it to. All right. Um, overall, if you are if you are starting up a new Windows machine and you're installing all your applications, you have to Think about what operating system you're using. If you are using, say, XP, get a heavy antivirus, um, heavy antivirus, and you don't have to worry about and just and get those basic cleaning applications. If you're running Windows Vista, antivirus is less important because Vista is very, very secure itself. So I'd maybe use AVG on that, but I'd still I'd get a lot of optimizing um, applications um, like System Mechanic. Uh, system. Um, this is a great application for cleaning up your system, made by the same people who do Memory Mechanic. Um, get this app play application because it will keep your Vista machine very, very clean. Vista, in general, is a slower operating system than XP, just because it requires more. Not saying it makes Vista bad in any way, just say it, it requires a lot and it can be slower in a lot of cases. Um, getting this application will keep it um, speedy um, as much as possible. So, it's just basically the difference between XP is XP has very the securing XP is not as good just because when it came out there wasn't a lot of viruses and there wasn't as much problems as there is now the XP has been out in the open for a lot of years so it's, it, there's a lot of holes that have been punched in it so basically what you want to do is if you're running XP get a nice antivirus um, you don't to, and just uh, get you know a few applications to keep it nice and clean like um, I'd get C cleaner and maybe uh, memory mechanic if you're running Vista less worry about the antivirus maybe get just um get just get AVG and get uh, just have um, I'd get this uh, system mechanic, and I'd also get maybe a copy of C Cleaner. It's all the way you use your system. Um, if you're using Linux or uh, Mac, antivirus is less important, and uh, so is optimizing software. But if you're using Windows, this is this different things you have to worry about. Um, keep your system nice and clean. Keep your system running as best as possible, and make sure your system is optimized as much as possible, because you will find if more you use your system, the slower it gets. More applications you install in your system, the slower it gets. The way it works, um, I do recommend you at least wipe your system every two, one or two years, just to keep your system nice and clean, just do, and do everyday backups as well, just to make sure your system is backed up, secure, safe, and clean.